Um, the, the, the pressure was off a little today? No, I didn't feel the pressure was off. You know, it was a must-win game for us as well. Uh, we wanted to win the competition. I said at the last press conference, you know, part of our job was to qualify for the World Cup, and the other part was to win the competition. You know, unfortunately, we didn't play uh, well enough today. Um, credit to Afghans, you know, they played some good cricket. They deserve to win the competition. What memories do you take with you about Zimbabwe and this tournament as a whole? I take a lot of memories. Um, it's always a, a good place to come. You know, I came here for my first time about three years ago, and I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed the cricket. I really enjoyed the crowds. You know, um, this, the support here is is definitely one of the best um, support cast we've had playing anywhere around the world. Um, at this time, I would just want to mention also people like Stanislaus Rukato and Tundra Damas. Those those two guys have helped us tremendously throughout this entire leg. You know, Stan is our liaison officer and Damas is our room attendant. You know, these guys have been with us from the last time we came here and these guys have outdone themselves. You know, um, without them, I don't think we would have made it this far in this competition. Um, I really, really want to ask the Zimbabwe cricket board to continue to utilize these two guys. These guys have been noble ambassadors for their country and they, they should be rewarded. Um, and, and perhaps a word on, or a few words on the, your, your campaign as a whole through the tournament. No, I thought we had a really good campaign. You know, we won all our group stage matches, um, came into the Super Sixes, lost the first one against Afghanistan, and to rebound the way we did to win the next two basically must win games to qualify uh, was tremendous. Uh, throughout the entire tournament, we had outstanding performers. Um, we had three cent century makers, Evan, um, Chris Gill, um, Shamor Hotmeyer, Hetmeyer, sorry, and Robin Paul. We had a couple of five wicket holes, uh, myself, you know, Carlos, and then Kim Roach was outstanding. You know, he wasn't fit or fully fit, you know, throughout the entire tournament. And you know, the way he put up his hand and, and bowl us into strong positions with the new ball was was outstanding. You know, um, it was a total team effort. You know, both on and off the field. Um, this is probably one of the best times we've come together as a side, and we knew the importance and significance of the tournament. And credit must go to each and every individual. You know, I want to also highlight our man management staff. Um, I think they were brilliant throughout, you know. Uh, some of them come in to work with us for the first time and I thought all of them put their hands up and, and outdone themselves, you know. They, they really did a really good job. And to the people back home in the Caribbean, you know, I want to thank them for their support as well, you know. Without them, again, we, we wouldn't be in this position. Um, the true diehard West Indian fans, you know, supported us straight through. So looking at the beginning of the tournament, you say that uh, it's time for the, the Windies to win the, the World Cup. Do you think that this team can go and win the World Cup? Definitely. Um, we've obviously got some room for improvement. Um, still not the perfect cricket side. We've still got to address a few issues, but we've got a couple of months before the World Cup. I think we've got four series before we play um, the World Cup in England. So it should be enough time and enough room for improvement, you know. So hopefully our guys can, can notice that. And we, I, get de I definitely think we'll put things in place in terms of the Cricket West Indies and, and having a few camps and, and stuff to, in order to get us ready for that 2019 World Cup. And how is it for a player playing in a tournament like this? Because let's say in the Super Six, you know that if you have one bad day in the office as a team, it could cost you a place in the World Cup. Um, I guess we grow to expect that as professional athletes. You know, we know knew the magnitude of the tournament. We knew what was at stake, and you knew every game was practically a must-win game after you you qualify. Well, got through the, the group stage, and you know, again, everybody put their hands up. You know, every, everyone came together. And, and we did the job. Um, unfortunately, we didn't play well enough today, and credit must go to um, the Afghans. I thought they had an outstanding tournament, you know, to come from that position where they were in, where having not, lot, having not won or brought forward any points from the group stage, to come in the Super 6 stage, winning all their games, and then coming and winning the all-important final. Uh, credit to Afghan, and, and congrats to them.